today I wanted to bring you the tag of Confessions of a Shoeaholic, and I don't know who created this tag, it's a very, very old tag, um, but I decided to do it for you guys because I officially dub you to do this tag video. I want to see your response, whether you have one pair of shoes that's your favorite or whether you have a hundred, it doesn't matter, I want to see your shoes because I think that shoes make the world go round, kind of, sort of, not really, but a little bit. Um, and you guys know Diamonds and Heels 14, dirt dirt, I love shoes. Even since I was like a baby, I would go around collecting shoes um, and socks and I'd like pair them together. So I've had a shoe fetish for quite a while and also I have really, really ugly feet. Like I have bunions and my feet are freaky deaky huge. So I think that shoes are like a way for me to combat ugly feet. I don't know. I, I have no idea. All I know is that shoes are amazing. Also, I'm in a new location. I don't know if the lighting's going to be buggy or what about it, but please bear with me because I thought to make things easier, I would just sit in front of the place that I keep my shoes. Um, but shoes keep making me happy. Um, they're more than just practical. They're a hobby. Some people collect stamps. Some people collect coins, um, baseball cards. I collect shoes. And it is a pretty bad thing. You know, my wallet hemorrhages sometimes, but I think that everyone should have that one thing that they're really, really passionate about. Um, for me, like when I'm super, super happy and excited, I go out and buy shoes to celebrate. Um, if I'm super, super bored and have nothing to do, I buy shoes. If I'm super, super sad and I've had a bad day, shoes will always cheer me up. If there's a sale going on, I'm gonna buy shoes. If there's no sale going on, but they have new shoes, I'm gonna buy shoes. You know, if there's a shoe, I'm gonna buy a shoe. So it's not always a good thing, but it's something that makes me happy and something that I'm passionate about. So I think that this tag is kind of right up my alley. And of course I want to see you guys do it as well so we can share the shoe goodness of the world. I don't even know what this is. Uh, but it's a series of questions that I will read off and I'm going to put them in the bottom tab as well. Um, I would love to see you do them too. First question is heels or flats. And let me tell you... That's very, very difficult for me because I love shoes. I don't care if they're heels. I don't care if they're flats. I love shoes. I think that each shoe is beautiful in their own way. Um, if I had the choice and if my feet never hurt me, I would definitely say heels because I feel... I'm a very tall person naturally, six foot zero. Um, I used to avoid heels and would like slouch down because I felt awkwardly tall. I've learned to embrace it and especially through modeling it's like shoes we will be so I love heels but the problem is they can be a little bit painful and flats are really cute too so usually probably flats especially with him if I'm with my boyfriend because he doesn't like me being taller than him which I don't see there's any problem with um, but probably flats most of the time because they're more comfortable but heels can be pretty comfortable too and they just give you a boost of confidence so that's a pretty tough question but I I think shoes are wonderful no matter how they come um, so question number two is, what is your go-to pair of shoes? These right here are my go-to pair of shoes, and they are just this very, very simple nude color. And the reason why I love this is because it matches my skin almost perfectly. They're very, very classic, and I can wear these with a formal evening gown and look great. I can wear these um, with pants and a business blazer like this one and look professional. I can wear these with shorts, you know, and a fun t-shirt and make them look beachy casual just because they're nude and make them for summer. Um, also, they do have this little um, little plateau here so it doesn't make you super tall but it gives you more cushion than just walking like with one of those shoes that doesn't have anything so they are a little bit uncomfortable they go with absolutely anything and I think that other people should have that kind of shoe as well something that no matter what outfit you're wearing you know that you have a shoe that can go with that outfit because it's a shoe that goes with anything the next question is what is your favorite shoe trend at the moment um, and I have to say mine are definitely these bright neon colors. This is a pair that's just completely out of this world. You got feathers going on, you got glitter, you got purple, you got blue. I absolutely love neon colors. Um, they are a little bit more difficult to pull off and usually with a brighter shoe like this you have to wear more of a neutral outfit. But these, I just think, I'm, I'm the kind of person that whether they're in trend or not, if I like something I'm gonna get it. These I would get all year round, but I'm just so happy that right now they are super in trend, so there's a ton of them available. But definitely bright colors, neon, something that's loud and boisterous. Uh, I think those are so fun, and you know, normally shoes are black or white or nude or things like that. Definitely a step out of the box, which I love. The next question is, what is your least favorite shoe trend? And let me say, I absolutely love this shoe trend, but my feet are really big and nasty, so it doesn't always work. You see this eau d'orsay? Eau d'orsay means it's open at the sides, and I love the way this looks. Like, it looks so pretty when it's sitting there. I'm just like, oh, I love you. Um, but they make your feet look very big, and since my feet are already huge, I'm like a size 11 or 12, usually a 12 in European, which is a 42, in American, anywhere from maybe a 10 to an 11. 
these make my feet look huge. I will show you. Um, so it's an outdoor say. I don't know if it's a super on trendy trend, but it's definitely a trend. Um, but if you guys can see, they just make my foot look ginormous. But if you guys can see, they just make my foot look absolutely ginormous. And I'm not very okay with that. Yeah, my feet are really, really gross. Um, so the next question is, what is your most expensive pair of shoes? And I'm the kind of person where I'm an equal opportunity shoe collector. I don't care if it's $5 or $500. Each piece has a place in the collection. And that's what makes it a collection. What makes it special and unique is that it's customized to the person who it belongs to. Um, so I don't care about price and things like that. If it's something I love, it's something I love. Um, but the most expensive pair is actually one that I had my eye on for ages. I was dreaming and wishing and hoping that these would go on sale, but then they started to sell out of my size, so I started freaking out. These are the Bollywoody, and these are by far some of my, my favorite shoes ever. And I waited forever for these to go on sale, but you know, they didn't, that's okay. I'm just happy to have them in my life and in my collection. Um, first off, they're teal, one of my favorite colors, as you can see by the dress. Um, also, it's a brand that fits my feet well. It's a good height for me. You know, I am tall already, but I like this height. Um, also, the biggest part is the design on it. You guys know that my boyfriend is Punjabi and Indian, and I love anything that has to do with India. And it's not because of my boyfriend that I'm so in love with India culture. I mean, He's part of that, and that's even better. But for me, I just think of the culture, I think that the fashion, especially I have a bunch of saris in my closet. They're so glittery and beautiful. I mean, I've even decorated my room to be semi-Indian themed and then, you know, French and Victorian. But like right here is an example. This is an Indian sari, and then I've decorated the walls with a couple of different Indian pieces of jewelry. So the culture and the style alone is something I'm in love with. And so these are super blinged out, super beautiful, super iconic, um, amazing color. They represent India. Um, they're the Bollywood -y and they're so pretty. Like they have glitter all over them. I know the lighting is going to just tweak them out, but oh my God, these are stunning in real life. I wish you guys could see them. So these are my most expensive and I was hoping to get them on sale, but I'm just so happy to have them in my collection to make my heart go somebody would bump them. Um, they're definitely one, if not, I don't know if they are my favorite, but they're definitely one of my favorites. It's hard to choose favorites, guys. Oh, I'm so happy. Ring, 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 ring. Hello. I was going to say banana phone, but it's not a banana. All right, so the next question is, what is your most wanted pair? And let me tell you, there are a ton of pairs that I want, but there is one that I have literally searched the globe for. Literally, I have called people and begged them in other countries to tell me if they can find this shoe or where I can get it. It is the Flame Wedge Sandal, and I'll put a photo in for you. But it's like, it's a wedge and it has fire going off the back and it's like, oh my god, I want you so bad. Problem is, I called the manufacturer, I went into the store, everything, they did not even make them in my size. They had a contract with one store, one store, that did make them in my size in different colors. I was like, okay, I'll do that. But they're sold out there. So I'm like crying and I'm dying and I'm hoping to God that somehow they will like appear on sale online somewhere in my size, but they are the flame wedge sandals. And oh my God, if I could get my hands on them, <gasps> my heart would just go crazy. There's also the spicy sandal and then like a butterfly monarch wedge. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's like a monarch butterfly. I, oh my god, if I had these shoes, oh, it would just make my collection so much more happy. I've been searching for them everywhere, but it's so hard to find things once they're out of season. Um, so, fingers crossed, and I'm, I'm still trying, but, you know, you never know. Um, so the next question is, what is your most embarrassing shoe story? And this one actually happened fairly recently. Um, you guys know that I had a meetup with Sephora and with Hourglass and everything, um, and on the very last day it was in San Francisco, I had decided to wear these heels. These are some super fierce little spiky guys. And I decided to wear these um, along with some pair of shorts. And what happened is that as I was walking from the car to the store, I accidentally kicked myself with these shoes in the ankle. And it was a little cut, probably around that big. I had no clue that it was going to bleed that much. So I'm in the store with a Sephora trying to say hi to everyone and I'm so excited. And my foot is like bleeding all over the floor. I'm like, oh my God, I hope nobody will notice. I hope nobody will notice. I hope nobody will notice. So 
I go to like the bathroom and I get tissue paper. I'm like cleaning up all this blood off my ankle. I was like, how did this happen? Why am I bleeding? It doesn't hurt. Why is this happening? I realized my spikes cut my leg open basically. So I'm like trying to compress it, but it keeps on bleeding. So finally I get it down a little bit, um, you know, cause I'm, I'm have my leg up on the sink, like trying to wash this off. So I go back out and then because my leg is down again, it starts bleeding all over again. And I was hoping no one would notice. I was like, please nobody notice, please nobody notice, please nobody notice. And then one of the Sephora guys was like, hey, um, I think you have a little blood, here's a tissue. I was like, oh my God. It was so embarrassing. They are so cute, but they cut me and it hurt very, very, no, it didn't hurt very, very bad, but it was hurting me emotionally very, very bad because I was so embarrassed about it. Um, but then also they lost a spike, which I was disappointed about. Do you see that? They are missing a spike there. I am not amused, uh, but these are really cute heels. But these are really cute heels and that's my story. Um, it says pick a shoe and share a story. Um, that was kind of one. Um, um, these shoes, I actually have a story. These are some amazing shoes. I call them my Halloween shoes. They have like little spiders on them and I feel so cool when I wear them, even though spiders scare me. I wore these in New York to the Today Show. And when I was wearing them, I put them on inside of the car and then, you know, when you walk out and everything, you go into the thing. I was like, I, I never get nervous on TV shows or anything. You know, that's just not me. I guess being a model has kind of trained me to be okay public speaking. But once I got done, there were so many people out there and I guess there was some celebrity um, either Zac Efron or Eva Longoria sorry my phone's ringing let's silence this guy um, but <laughs> all these celebrities are there so I was like oh my gosh this is so exciting do I get to meet them um, and then people outside started recognizing me and waving to me and saying hi I was like oh my gosh I was so excited and then what happens this wasn't super embarrassing because nobody saw really but when I was walking from the Today Show studios into the limo, my heel went straight into the gutter. Um, so I was terrified that I ruined my shoes, and they're not that ruined. I've worn these everywhere. These are probably the most uncomfortable sh her shoes. Um, but I wore these on the Today Show where I got to see Zac Efron and Eva Longoria, and then I fell into a gutter. So yeah, because also like a normal heel is even a little bit thicker than this. This is like a super skinny heel. So yeah, that's, that's a story for you. Maybe I just don't have the best luck with shoes. I don't know. Um, let's see. How many pair of shoes do you own? That is difficult. Um, when I was little, I used to count. I really, I don't count. I don't think it's worthwhile. For me, whether I have one pair or whether I have a hundred pairs, it doesn't matter because each piece has a story to me. Each one is special in their own way. And I store some of my favorites up here. Um, obviously, that's not so practical. And then I store more flats down here. Uh, but a great storage tip is that I actually have these like rods that you, they're like curtain hangers. And I actually, well, okay, I'll show you. I actually destroyed part of the closet door. I tried to use a drill. I guess I'm not too good with drills. Um, but you can actually make something like this where you can actually put the shoes on the closet wall so that that way it doesn't take up space. Um, but I ruined that was me trying to get a drill in there. So that didn't work out too well. Um, but this is a great way to store shoes just because it keeps it compact. And then there's on this door and then they kind of overflowed onto the bottom there on the floor. Um, but for me, you know, organizing shoes, you just find what works for you and, you know, you go with the flow. <laughs> You know, obviously I can't really put wedges up in there or flats or anything, but for heels it works great. And then flats and wedges are just pretty easy to stack on the floor. Um, the next question was, what was the first time that you wore heels? Well, let me tell you. When I was a little girl, I was always told that heels were very, very, very bad for your back and that they would hurt you and give you back pain. So what happened is that my grandma passed away when I was around three or four and we had a garage sale after her passing. To She used to have a lot of designer items, so we had a garage sale to try to get some money just for the things that we weren't going to use anymore. And I remember, um, it, I don't really remember it all that vaguely, it's basically a story that my family has told me over and over again. Um, apparently what happened is that I was running around this garage sale, butt naked, in a pair of my grandmother's heels that were a size 7, she had small feet, but they were like huge on me. You know, like my little baby foot only fit into the pointed toe. So I'm clogging around in these heels, butt naked at this garage sale, and I go over, I remember she was blonde, I go over to this lady who was looking at high heels, I looked at her and I said, excuse me ma'am, high heels are bad for your back, you're going to get back pain. And then I turned my naked butt around and walked back. <laughs> um, so I don't know if that's actually the first time I wore heels, I'm pretty sure it was, but I remember being fascinated with them when I was little. Um, but I would clog around in my grandmother's heels and um, the lady ended up buying that pair and I ended up 
letting my mother, my mother ended up letting me keep the pair that I was wearing. But it was so funny because it's like, that was the first time I wore heels. I was butt naked at four years old in a driveway. Like, butt naked at four is not a thing, but like, in front of people? Really? Anyways, I was butt naked walking around telling this lady not to wear heels because they'll hurt her back even though I'm wearing heels that are size 7 when my foot's like this big. So that was probably the first time I wore heels. Um, but the next one was how much do you spend on shoes? For me, I am an equal opportunity shoe fanatic. I don't care if they're $5 or if they're $500. Um, I don't care if they're $1 or, you know, $1,000. Each pair has a special thing. And some of my most amazing pairs, I found them on sale for five to 10 bucks and they last me and they're great. And you know others, um, like like the Bollywoody, I did have to pay a little bit more money for, but they're worth it to me just because of what they mean to me and the excitement of having shoes. Um, so for me, it, it really doesn't matter. I think that each person has something that they're passionate about and I think that my passion is shoes and each piece is separate in their own way and my collection would not be the same without the expensive pieces or the inexpensive pieces if they were all inexpensive it wouldn't be the collection if they were all expensive it wouldn't be right for me it's it's a mix of both which I just I love um, I think my life is kind of like a mix of everything like that um, where are your favorite places to buy shoes oh my gosh how about anywhere that sells shoes um, if I'm happy, I celebrate by buying shoes. If I'm sad, I cheer myself up by buying shoes. If I'm bored, I go out and buy shoes. Online, I'll buy shoes in stores. Um, I definitely like Nordstrom and Bloomingdale's and Barney's and Bergdorf Goodman if you want to buy something expensive. Um, or even online websites like Farfetch, you can get some good deals there. Um, but, you know, there are some great things like Brunella. Um, it's like an online store where you can find shoes for like less than $10. You can find them on sales at Chic Shoes. Um, even Baker's has some really good shoe sales. So, like I said, anywhere. Anywhere that sells shoes is my favorite place to buy shoes. Um, do I have a pair of shoes that I regret purchasing? Yes, I do. These shoes right here are absolute babies and I love them so much and they're like this gold and they have like glitter on them and then they have this like cute little design on the side. They're the perfect height and I purchased these online like we were talking about and they were on sale. The unfortunate thing is that this is a size 40. My size is a 42 so this is like a 10 and I am a 12. And you guys know with my gigantically huge feet that doesn't work too well. And don't ask me why I bought them because I honestly believed that they would fit. And even though I can get my toes in them because they're strappy, well, just look at that. That's not too successful, now is it? No, I don't think so. So I do regret buying these, as beautiful as they are, I just, I can't wear them. And they've never been worn, like they're brand freaky deacon new. So I don't know if I'm gonna try to resell them, I mean, because they're brand new, if I'm gonna just give them to someone or if I'm gonna donate them. I don't know, but I want them so bad, and I have been wanting them, and now that I have them, I can't wear them, so I'm going to try to find them another size, but like we talked about, once they go out of your size, it is very difficult to find them again. So I do regret purchasing these. Um, I don't know why I purchased them in the 40. I know I won't fit in a 40. I think that I thought that I was getting a 41 and a half or something, or I don't know, maybe I got like tripped up on it. I don't know. I thought that I was getting a different size, and I just, I didn't. So that was very, very disappointing. And the last question is, show your favorite pair of shoes, which is very, very hard. Um, guys, I don't have favorites, and I think I missed one, which is your most worn. Probably these. These are the ones that they've just been destroyed. Or a pair of flats, but I don't wear those anymore. But anyways, guys, I love you so much. My camera battery's dying. I can't choose a favorite, like I said. It's like you guys. I can't just choose one of you that's my favorite. I love everyone. Um, so I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. I cannot wait to see your video responses because they would make my freaky deacon day. Um, and I want to see your shoes because I'm a nosy person like that. But I love you guys, and I cannot wait to talk to you on the next video. <sighs> love you guys, and my shoes love you too. <laughs> Bye.